Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu asyafil anbiya mursalin. Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. La hawla wa la quwaita la billah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Greeting of peace and a very good morning to all of you members of the IIM community. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to be here again in celebrating the new year, the year 2023, which is coincidentally the 40th anniversary of the establishment of the International Islamic University in Malaysia. Therefore, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this opportunity to be together again online and much so to celebrate the 40th anniversary of this university, a well-deserved anniversary that has made this university an institution that is recognized by many around the world and therefore it becomes a pride and joy for all of us. In other words, this year, the year that the university was established 40 years ago, will be a very special year for us to welcome and also a very special year to make sure that we are able to showcase what the university is all about from its very existence and how then we move forward to the next 40 years and beyond. My wish for you and all of us today was for us to work together to ensure that all the things that we have done in the last 40 years will be beneficial to not only us in the university, but also to the community, to the nation, indeed to the Ummah and for Rahmatan Lil Alamin. This is what the university is for. We understand in the last couple of years where we are trying to re-establish what the university is all about, to bring back what the university is meant for as far as the Muslim world is concerned and even beyond. We have quite categorically put in the four very distinct value of uh, Khalifa, Amana, Ikraq and Rahmatan Lil Alamin as a basis for us to lead the way into the future in the context of education in particular. We have made meaning into what Khalifa means to us, what Amana is important to us and also the culture of Ikraq being the basis of all these things for the longer purpose or for the larger purpose of Rahmatan Lil Alamin beyond the Muslim community, including the non-Muslim, beyond the human community as well, including the non-humans, the creatures and the environment around us. This has been, I hope, in the last three or four years, the basis of our thinking and how to move forward. And now is a time for us to show how these four elements are able to change the university in the next 40 years. And therefore, this year, I think we have been trying very hard to find out what has happened to the university in trying to reshape it for the future. This year, we have been planning to show the world what we have done, and therefore, we move from leading the way to leading the world. Leading the world means we are able to translate some of the activities of the university for the benefit of the world in very clear terms. The world today, as you understand, is not in a, in a good state of affairs in many counts, economically, uh, politically, uh, socially, and certainly in the context of education. Knowing all this, what have we done together as a university that is responsible for many of these things? What have we done and how have we now made changes as far as at least university is concerned that could be expanded to the world around us from the very day that we start moving into the new year, the year 2023. And therefore, we have, as I've mentioned, uh, sought out uh, from the activities that all of us have been doing. There are many choices, there are many options that we can do, but because of the limited time space, we are now looking at various projects so that we can showcase this at least month by month, what is it that the university has done. We have now looked at many of the projects that we have done. I think we are able to show two or three very major 
initiatives of how we are able to participate and also actively move forward in trying to offer solution to the world as such in the context of global warming, perhaps, in the context of climate change or climate crisis, or also in the context of how do we preserve the peaceful and harmonious living of human persons around the world in this planet that we have today. There will be, inshallah, centers that the university will establish uh, in due course so that this will be a center of focus for us to offer solution to the world, not only from the perspective of what we often read, but also from the perspective of what Islam means to us. In particular, how do we lead as a Khalifa? How do we fulfill the amana that has been given to us? And how do you use knowledge as a basis of making changes for Rahmatan Lil Alamin? These are the very salient points that we want to demonstrate that this university is indeed relevant for the future moving forward, inshallah. Beyond that, we are also looking at activities where we work with various other organizations around the world, including the very uh, people that have been supporting us in the context of trying to make this university what it is today. We are recognizing many people who have been contributing to the university for the last 40 years, people who have given so much for the university. Now we need to recognize them so that they can be also seen as examples, as role models of what they have done for the university so that other people will follow suit, especially in the context of the alumni. We have thousands and thousands of alumni around the world. We know many of them are doing very good work internationally. And many of them has been contributing the way the university wants to contribute. We want to recognize them in this 40th anniversary. Last but not least, I think the trust of the university for the last three or four years was to look back at how do we directly contribute to the community around us, to the community around the region, and in that to the community around the world. We have, as you know, the flagship program, the program that was introduced in the year 2019 in a very specific way. There are many of these projects. I think more than 40 of, 40 of those projects has been undertaken by the students, by the staff, breaking the silos, working together, forming a platform that shows that the university actually is integrated, not only in terms of its knowledge, but also in terms of its activity and also in terms of its outcome. We will be showcasing some of this uh, along uh, throughout the year, uh, from day one, uh, beginning this month, and right down to the end uh, of the year in December 2023. All this will be showcased in, in order to give us that confidence, uh, that uh, what you call a certainty, that the approach towards the future will perhaps be slightly different from what it has been. We are not going just to talk about what we have done and demonstrate what we have done, but basically to give them not only uh, the outcomes, but also the impact of what this project means as far as contributing to the betterment of human life and civilization as it is spelled in our mission or vision of the university. On that note, I would want also to recall, in the last three or four years, we have worked very hard to define some of this, where we produce documents now, which I hope will be a kind of a blueprint for the university, a reference source for in the future. In other words, the Sajatra Academic Framework, it being one example. How we have worked together to find out what works and what do not work what needs to be retained, what needs to be substituted, and what needs to be, uh, in fact, uh, remodified because the environment has changed. So SAF, or the Sajatra Academic Framework, with a subtitle, Humanizing University to Rahmatan Lil Alamin in the post-COVID environment, will be one document that I think all of us must be able to understand, to internalize, and to make sure that this is a framework of thinking moving forward.
this will be refined from time to time so that the relevance of this uh, framework will continue to be uh, looked into uh, so that it becomes really the kind of a fundamental uh, framework for of all of us to refer. We also have got another document on the futures of the university. We know the university wants to change, but where do we put this change as far as moving forward is concerned? And how far ahead can we think? And behind me, if you look at the, uh, what do you call, the graphics, these are the graphics that talks about IIUM 2040. We have worked together <clears throat> to find out and finalize what is it that we want to do to the university uh, 20 years uh, hence, uh, beginning uh, from the day that we uh, draft this particular uh, futures, how to approach it and what are the actual uh, framework or rather what is the actual scenario that we want to actually arrive at when, when the year 2040 comes. This is another uh, document that I think it is important. Again, this document will be revisited from time to time depending on how uh, the, the global agenda changes and how we can fit ourselves into that global agenda. Last but not least, I think I must remind ourselves that we have got seven missions uh, to work on. And these seven missions now are clearly spelled. We know what is mission number one until mission number seven. Where are the gaps so that by the time we arrive at the end of the year 2040, perhaps, that all this mission has been met in a very satisfactory manner, meaning to say that the university has achieved what it's intended for, and maybe we need now to actually uh, celebrate uh, the future in a very different way, looking at where do we go perhaps in the year 2077, which perhaps is the next milestone as far as the university is concerned. In a nutshell, I think we are no lack of uh, information no lack of activities, no lack of framework. All this, I think, has to be put together as a foundation for us to move forward in the year, in the year 2040. The high point will be to the 20th of May, uh, which is the founding day of the university. As far as the document, documentation is concerned, we will have a special commemorative convocation where we will, will be the highlight of what the university is all about, where we hope the alumni will come back, where people who have contributed to the university will be recognized, and certainly our community to be proud of, of what we have achieved over those periods of time. So these are very exciting years. These are very exciting moments for us. And I do hope you all will look forward to it and go on contributing to the university. This is just, I think, the first beginning of the next 40 years. There are many more that we need to do, as I've described to you, and all of this needs to be put in a better uh, presentation uh, so that leading the world would mean something to all of us rather than just a slogan. It has something substantial. It is something meaningful. It brings impact and benefit to the universities and to the society and indeed the world around us. So on that note, uh, I would want to thank all of you for making uh, this moment what it is today, that I can stand here now and speak quite confidently of what we have done together, that this university is ready to move forward, to contribute and to be a significant uh, participant, not just a bystander. We want to contribute into whatever we think it is possible and fill in the gaps where there is not uh, a Muslim perspective, perhaps, a Muslim worldview, or the Muslim contribution that many of us perhaps are not aware of. The university is prepared to play this role and it means that all of us must work together in synchrony, must work together in trying to understand where we are going, meaning to say that we are one as far as the university is concerned and hopefully this will be the hallmark for us to lead the way and inshallah to lead the world into the future. On that note, uh, I'll thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again for giving us his guidance, his blessing, his courage uh, to make uh, the university what it is and also to humbly contribute where we can 
as far as education is concerned. In fact, whatever else that we need to do to make the Ummah and the world better than what we found it as in our anthem to realize yeah, what we need to do as far as this university is concerned. So, wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and greeting of peace to all of you.